everyone today I did this smoky look for you guys I hope you guys like it if you guys want to see how I got this look just please keep on watching so I already had started off with concealer as my eyelid primer and then uh, to set that I used wet n wild single eyeshadow in the color creme brulee then going in with this color peanut butter from the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate palette I just blended that into my crease then going in with the color truffled I did the same thing I just pretty much went over um, the peanut butter color but then this one I went a little bit lower to the lid then I blended everything out with a clean uh, fluffy brush then getting a flat brush and the color licorice which is a black color I just used one side of the brush just to prevent fallout so right there I'm showing you guys I'm just tapping on one side of the brush and I just patted the black color all over my lid you're still gonna get fallout but to prevent excessive fallout just try to keep it on um, one side of the brush then going in with the color hot fudge I use that as my blending color just to blend in both the black and the brown colors and you can always touch up and add more black if it fades once you start doing all the blending and here I'm just blending again with uh, just a clean brush then to remove any of the excess fallout just use a makeup remover wipe just to clean everything off and that's why I like to do the foundation last so I can just rub off all this fallout then for primer first I use a Smashbox uh, primer water and then I use the smoothing um, primer from Makeup Forever and then the foundation that I use today is Revlon in the color 350 which is rich tan and this one is for the combo oily skin and I applied this foundation with a precision blending sponge I love this sponge it's super soft and very very affordable from TJ Maxx then for concealer I use NARS creamy radiant concealer in the color custard and I use it as a concealer and also a highlight so I'm also highlighting my high points on my face then I blended everything in with once again the precision beauty sponge then I used Maybelline's uh, Fit Me Foundation Sticks in the color it's Toffee Caramel in 330 and I used that just to contour and bronze my face first, a cream contour. I blended that in with my fingers and then I went back in with the sponge again and just um, blended in some more. Then lose, using Laura Mercier's Loose Setting Powder in, in the color Invisible, I just said um, wherever I put concealer, I pretty much put the powder. And then I used the bronzer from Urban Decay's Naked on the Run. I love this bronzer. I used that over what I had already done with the cream contour. And then I just put that, you know, on, on my temples, on the top of my forehead. And right now, I've been using a combo of bronzers with the Naked on the Run one. I've been using this Ulta Contour Kit, and I've been using the color Bombshell Bronzer. So I pretty much went over everything again with that bronzer as well. Then I just use a clean brush just to smooth everything out, blend everything in, no harsh lines. And for blush, I used a combo of the blush and bronzer from the Naked on the Run palette. I just, I wanted a pink, but I also still wanted a kind of bronzy look. Then going back to the eyes, I used the peanut butter color to line my lines on the bottom. And then I went back in with the black and I went over the color, the peanut butter color. And then I just blended everything out. Then for lashes, I used Stardell lashes. And they did give me some troubles in the beginning. But then I worked it out. And for mascara, I used Miss Magna Rocks. 
And for lip liner, I used Essence in the Nude. That was just like my lip color. So this is it for the makeup look. Um, usually when I wear like a dark smoky eye look, I'm normally going to a show, like a rock show or something. So I normally like to have my hair tied up just because, just because I don't want no one, like I don't want it to get in my face and it gets hot at shows and I'm jumping around and stuff. So I'll tie up my hair. So you can leave your hair just like this or I should have teased it a little just to get more volume up here but it's okay. So you can leave it just like this or if I comb it out a little bit. And then I can put on my Bellamy Pony. I have a love-hate for this extension because I wanted a chocolate. It was like, I think it was supposed to be like a chocolate brown and blonde. And this looks gray. It doesn't look chocolate at all, but whatever. It is what it is. So to put this on, you put it around your, your ponytail. There's a Velcro and a little piece. So after you Velcro it, you get the little piece and you wrap that around your hair. Then you just bobby pin the end. So this is it for the final look. I did add this ponytail just to give it more of an edge to my look. I really, really like a smoky look. It just makes it like it makes me feel a little bit more edgy and just a little bit more rockery-ish. I know some people like glam up the the smoky look, and I just feel very edgy when I do use um, a smoky eye. So. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you liked this video, also give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you guys like this look, if you guys want to see a different type of look. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.